Are you one of the 2.2 million people who are set to hire a bouncy castle this summer? My name is Suzanne Shaw, and as a mum of young children, I know what brilliant fun bouncy castles can be. Sadly, there are thousands of minor accidents every year, mostly bumps and scrapes, but most could be prevented. The Register of Play Inspectors International RPII, and Inspection Organisation PIPA have launched a new campaign called Bounce Safe to help parents and kids have as safe an experience as possible. If everyone asked three questions when they book a bouncy castle, it could have a big impact on safety. 1. Has the bouncy castle been tested and does it have a PIPA tag? 2. Does the operator have insurance? And 3. Has the operator been trained by the RPII? At the party, as the hirer, you are responsible for the safety of the users of the bouncy castle after the rental company leaves, so make sure you supervise them at all times. Bound Safe found that 73% of us don't even know this fact. Simply supervising could make a huge difference. Finally, follow our advice on how to keep the kids bouncing safe on the day. Things that aren't allowed on the bouncy castle. Shoes, sharp objects, food, drink, pets, anyone over the height limit. Most accidents happen from users climbing the walls, so make sure they don't climb or sit on them. Segregate larger users from smaller ones. There's a height limit, so check that too. Do not exceed the maximum indicated user numbers or heights on the inflatable. The Bounce Save campaign has lots more safety tips, so check out www.bouncesafe.org.uk.